We should put like a disclaimer for all the swearing or something. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steph. I'm Kaveh. Bitch, just slap me. And sorry for all our swearing. Um, so I'll try to censor myself, but I can't <laughs> promise that. So this is our response video to Marcus's My Embarrassing Stories. And we thought that Kave would be excellent at responding to his post. Okay. Um, so just whenever you're ready. I have so many because I am that one person who trips on their own feet in public. I think I can go back to as far as like fifth grade. I'm going to point at you, by the way. Um, I remember we had track and field day, and because I was a little fatty, I didn't do well in anything that I did. I did long jump. I did the mile run. I did the relay race, and I just I failed at everything. And I remember I was so like discouraged during the awards ceremony that I just started talking to everybody else. And my principal, I feel like this is partly his fault. He decided to like yell into the microphone, like Kave. And so I, I, I kind of beamed up. I was like, oh my God, I won something. And I stood up and started walking up and everybody started laughing at me. <laughs> but he just wanted to tell me to be quiet. <laughs> and <laughs> that was like, oh, okay, my teacher. And this is what I thought was mean because she saw that I was humiliated. She went up, she's like, you shouldn't have been talking. Like, I, I just humiliated myself. I really punished myself already. You don't have to add on to it. And she did. And... I wasn't talking or anything. Uh, let's see. Uh, I could go to as today at work. Uh, I had a customer who was a transsexual. And mind you, I don't have anything, any problem with that. I support 110%. I, I didn't know it was a woman trying to be a man. She shaved her head and she pulled it off so well. And I, mean, I called her, like, I... I still saw her as a woman. I didn't know if she had, like, a pea show or anything like that, you know, where she loses her hair. So I called her, like, Miss, and she got offended to the point where she started swearing at me. She called me a son of a female dog <laughs> and just kept going and going, and she called me inconsiderate, and she told me I'm disrespectful, ignorant, I am closed-minded, and I was just... I kind of stood there, like... Uh, what do I say? <laughs> Everybody else was looking at me. Everybody's eyes were on me, and it was nerve wracking. And I didn't really, I don't feel like I did anything on purpose to bring that onto myself, but holy crap, did I get my butt chewed out in public, and it was embarrassing. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to think, because in my speech class that I took at Danza, we had to say our most embarrassing story. And it's not as bad as that, so I don't know if it's worth telling. You know what I think is very embarrassing on a daily basis? When you're in a library in a quiet space and you kind of like scoot your chair? It sounds like a fart. That happened You know they're thinking you farted. Okay, so <laughs> I was in English and I had, I got these like new flats, new shoes, and I had my legs crossed and I uncrossed them and my foot <laughs> scraped the floor. And as I was moving my feet, I shifted like this, and it made a fart noise, and so it, it probably appeared like I farted. You know what's horrible is if you're in a quiet space, too, and your stomach grumbles, and you're just like, all oh, the they time. disappear right now. All the time. Like, mm -hmm. oh. There, there was somebody else. Like, I completely understand that he was going through this, but I swear, this person sounded like they were going through childbirth or something. Like, it was so loud. I feel like they ate some bad food. Like, some horrible beans that weren't cooked all the way. Oh or she gosh. ate, like, a raw steak or something, and she was feeling the Hershey squirts, and she was going to go drive the Hershey highway. Like, that's what it felt like. And <laughs> I, un <laughs> like, I understand. I totally understand her position. I mean, I was going to talk to her, but I didn't do that. Because if I have embarrassing moments, you go down, too. <laughs> take, some, take some focus off of myself. Okay. But yeah, I'm full of embarrassing moments. Yeah. I'm very ungraceful. That is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my other thing that I do pretty much on a daily basis is go down steps and forget there's one more, and so I kind of scare myself. <laughs> yeah. I've time. done that all the time. It hurts. It, okay. This one time, my knees were like, nope. And I fell <laughs> flat on my face. Like, Where were you? Uh, I was at school. <laughs> 
It was in the morning too, so you know there's more people in the morning mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. more people. And um, people. yeah, they saw me there's and they started people. laughing and this guy's like, How are you okay? I'm like, first of all, you don't ask that and then, you know, after you laugh. <laughs> oh. So you know when you take the light rail? So I take the light rail to school. <laughs> I don't take the light rail. I'm too rich for that. I'm just kidding. I take the light rail to school and it's basically a train. And so anytime it takes off, everyone shifts. And the first time I was on it, I that was I hadn't been on it in a while. And I forgot. And it was a new driver, and so they break really hard and take off really fast. And I was trying to be all cool and you know, looking like, oh, you know, I'm I transferred to this big fancy college, I'm just gonna go to school Sorry. like a normal moment. person. <laughs> And the train took off, and I stumbled a couple steps pretty bad, and no one said anything, but they were all looking at me like they wanted to help me. I didn't fall, Sorry. but I almost did. No, I'm just remembering this one <laughs> since I'm on the light rail. I don't take it very often, but I, I had to go to Palo Alto, and I thought, no, I'm not going to drive there. Mm-hmm. Screw that. I'm going to be environmentally friendly. Mm-hmm. So I get on. I was supposed to get off on a stop called Chinua. And yeah, Ohlone Chinua. Ohlone Chinua. And um, so, like, I, I had my headphone in, I guess, and I didn't hear what he said. Mm-hmm. And he called the stop, and so I pulled it out. You, know, you my pulled head, it I, out. I, <laughs> shut up. Shut, don't pull out. No. But um, <laughs> I pulled out my headphone, and I was like, oh, it's Ohlone Chinua. And so I get out, and I'm right at the door, and it closes. And I'm like, oh, shit. I pressed the button over and over where it says open door. Mm-hmm. And he kept driving. And I was like, oh, my God, I missed my stop. I turn around, everybody's looking at me like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like... Have you ever fallen asleep on the light rail? I don't. I'm I too nervous. I fell asleep on the I light rail. I feel like someone's going to hit on me. And woke He's up... He's a homeless guy. Luckily, I know the area. But yeah, I woke up and it was not my stop. I was very far from my stop. <laughs> yeah, I was... Fuck the public transportation systems. Is that it? Do you have any more? I know. That could be the end of that one.